Okay, everybody. So this video is going to talk to you about the pencil tool. Um, it's kind of different than any of the other ones. Uh, it is kind of like a pencil, I guess you could say. Um, the only thing about it is you draw with it and you can't really um, keep the, the width skinny and fat. And I don't think there's any pressure sensitivity with it at all. Um, but then you can go back and you can change the different widths of lines and so forth. Um, how did I get this artboard? Just to show you real quick, I went up to Window and opened my artboards. And then right down here is where you can add a new artboard. See right here. And I just added too many. Let's see here if it'll let me delete two at a time. So I'm going to show you how to use the pencil tool and the width tool. And I'm actually going to show you a few more things that are underneath here, um, like the path eraser tool, which is kind of cool. Um, in fact, that's going to be the first thing that I'm going to show you. Let me turn off my little kitty cat. And I'm going to zoom in. And I found out about the spiral tool. I think I've seen some of you using this. Um, you can hold the command key down, and it'll make a bunch of spirals. It'll make it a tighter curl, I guess you can say. Um, you can hold shift down, and... Oops, hang on. You can hold shift down, and you can move this around. I'm not sure what this is doing. Um, there's... Lots of things that you can do. Let me get rid of whatever that is. Um, let me make it a little bit fatter, just so you can see what I'm about to show you. Um, and this works with the pencil tool. If you come in and you get the path eraser tool, I'm going to zoom in. It also works with the pencil tool, of course, but it took me forever to figure out how to erase. I kept going like this, but you have to go this way with it, and it'll erase paths for you if you want. So I'm going to show you how that affects what we're about to do. The width tool is right here and you can make things fatter. You can, let's make this fatter too. Um, there's lots of really cool things. Like if I just wanted to make one side of this fat, I can hold the option key down and I can just make that side fat, um, which I think is kind of cool. You can, let's see here, there's lots of things that you can do. You can make it skinny, fat, skinny, if you want to. Oh, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do. It really gets kind of weird right in here. If you start moving these points close to each other, I'm going to put them further apart, but let me show you, like, if you put them together like that. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, so I'm going to zoom up. Okay, so that's how you can use this little path eraser tool. It's not just for the pencil tool, even though it's under the pencil tool. Um, so I'm going to turn that little baby off, turn my little cat template on, and zoom out. I'm going to turn my dog off. He's distracting me. And I'm going to zoom in, hold the space bar down to move. I've got my pencil tool. You'll want to double click on here. You need to experiment with what if you want it, the fidelity closer down here to accurate, that just means it gives you more points, and smooth means it gives you less points. I'm experimenting right now with fill new pencil strokes. I haven't tried that yet. Um, keep selected. Um, option key. I can hold option down, and it'll use the smooth tool. I'll show you that in just a second. Close paths. Like if you're drawing and you want it to um, just automatically connect. You can say uh, how many pixels. Um, you can say edit selected path. So that's as you're drawing, it'll keep it selected for you. So you can actually change change it. Okay, so just to show you how to make your thumbnails bigger, you can go to other and change this to whatever you want. I'm going to do 70. And then you can really see what's on each layer. Um, I've already created another layer by coming down here. I've got the pencil tool, and I'm going to start drawing around. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. okay, so in my preferences while ago, I wanted to keep this selected, and here's why. So I can hit A. 
and I can come over here and I can double click and I can do whatever I want. I can move these, even just the anchor tools or the bezier handles. Um, these are the anchors, sorry. So these are here so that I'm experimenting with it and I really like it to be able to to do that as I'm working. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the pencil tool and I need to zoom in. See, I'm pressing down really hard. I don't think it's going to make it fatter because there's no pressure sensitivity on here. Yeah, I see. But I am going to hit A and I'm going to click bring this down. Okay. Pencil tool is in. Look like Nancy. Zoom out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that's really bad, isn't it? So. Let's see if I can get the smoothing tool to work. I haven't had much luck with it. Um, let me tell you what they say you're supposed to be able to do. You're supposed to be able to go like this, and it's supposed to make it curvy, more smooth, I guess you can say. Um, I have more luck with it going like this, just little short strokes. I'm going to hit A. I'm going to get that bevy A handle. Uh, 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 uh. going to be a bumpy cat. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue drawing. I'm going to pause. I'm going to keep drawing this, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now with the pencil tool, you have to select all. And you can come over here to Profiles. And you can kind of go through each one of these to see which one you like. And it'll give you different stroke widths. Actually, I like this one. I think that one looks good. Um, let's see here. The next thing, maybe you want to just change the width of something. Let's see if I can hold shift key down. Let's see. Yep. Let's make that smaller. Okay. So you have control over certain things. I wonder if I can make this bigger. A little bit bigger. I don't like that. It's too big. So anyway, um, if you, when you're using the pencil tool, if you have a fill, I did one of those just to show you what it looks like. You can do a fill as you're going. Um, doesn't work as good as you would want it to. If we select it all and we came over here to add a fill, it just does something really strange. So um, pencil tool is kind of weird. So I am going to fill this in with the blob tool. The blob brush. Yes, sir. Can I leave now when I get to Yep. Um, so I don't know if you notice I hit draw behind. And let me zoom in. And here's the cool thing is with the blob brush, I don't know if I showed you this before. We can just go around the perimeter. And it's pressure sensitive, so that's why I'm having to press down. Kind of getting out of the lines a little bit. Let's just say we color the whole thing in, okay. And we can click just that inside thing and hit delete twice. And it'll fill it in for you. And I'm pretty sure, let's see if we can use the eraser for this. Eraser, let's see if that works. Gotta have it selected. That's what I always do wrong. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to pause while I finish coloring this in.